ये आप हिंदू में पढ़ा हो आप लोगों ने पढ़ा है हिंदू हैव यू सीन दिस न्यूज सो यू सॉ दिस न्यूज डिन रीड दिस वॉज द न्यूज इन हिंदू टूडे एंड आई हैव नॉट गिवन इट इन टेलीग्राम विच इज फॉर जनरल स्टडीज and of course not not in the whatsapp groups also though it should be considered as a very important news hmm prehistory is integral part and if you find a site in india it should be very important i i ignored but i have to make it because even some of my students old students they have sent me the cutting of this news this news says that you have this district and where you have found people uh, of history they have found this site after uh, the flood uh, receded the plain was open and this 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 hand axe was found it's a beautiful hand axe you can see of lower bell you see beautiful cutting of edges is there flakes are removed but these people the historian they don't know even that uh, it is called flake anyway why it is not important firstly it is that the next the record that is shown kya keh rahe hain ye according to belindrogi so and so the stone axe belongs to the lower pelvic period and is about 30 lakh years old sabse badi beauty ye hai the oldest tools found in india till date they are 1.51 million years old uh, recently some more discoveries are there and extended up to 1.7 million years but the research is yet to be published because indian researchers have to authenticate from more than one sources before they publish otherwise these gora people they don't trust indians so that is yet to be there and you will study in uh, fossil evidence also that earliest cultures belong to homo erectus and that is 2 million years old and here you have a hand axe which is 3 million years old How it is possible? When you say three million, it is the time of Australopithecus. The earliest tools of Australopithecus, which are pebble tools only, these are hardly three point four million years, but they are pebble tools. Hmm? So this kind of uh, uh, research is, firstly, historians they should be away. I know only of one historian who 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 knows about prehistory. He has keen interest in fossil evidence. Also, Ravi Prakash is his name. He has keen interest. Nobody else. Otherwise, in history books also, if you find a chapter of prehistory, it is written by anthropologists only. So students got misled. Misled that it is three million year old. How it is? And they say that it dates back to thirty three lakh years BC, early Stone Age. That is a blunder. Early Stone Age. Uh, there is another terminology that we will be discussing when we talk about H. D. Santalia. But the point I wanted to raise that don't trust this kind of research unless the researcher is authentic, unless the research is authentic. Like you know, in 1991, in Hindu Sunday full page article was there on pilled down forgery. The forgery that was detected in 1953, the reporter came to know only in 1991. and he gave a full page story as if something latest is there so you have to be very careful that which news is of use and which one is not and this one is not and i'm making this video particularly for the others with you i can communicate with whom i cannot they should know this is not worth and it may put you in blunder in error if you write these things in exam Got it? Okay.